Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to find your computer's uptime, or as in when I say uptime, that's how long it's been on. But there are some caveats as to how this works. So there's a few different ways. You could use the command line, you could use PowerShell, there's a couple GUI ways. But depending on the version you use, you're going to get different results. And when I say that, there are um, results for restarts and then also from a uh, when you turn it on when it's completely shut off. So when you use these command line methods, it's going to give you the information from the last restart, not from when you had it shut down. So let me show you an example and maybe make a little more sense here. So I have these here. I'll put these in the uh, description so you can just copy and paste them. So you copy, open a command prompt, you know, to go to start, type in CMD. And then if you right click, it'll paste it in there. And this is last boot up time. So we have 2021. So we have 415, 2021, and 839, 49 seconds. So this is the last time it was restarted, not the last time it was turned on from being completely off. So if I were to shut this computer down, you know, so it's off, turn it back on, run this command again, it's going to show this exact time. It's not going to update because this is the restart time, not the turn on from it being completely off time. So hopefully that makes sense. And another command we could do from a command line is from using sysinfo. Paste that in there. So this says 415, 2021 at 839, 49 seconds, which matches that. And that's, like I said, once again, that's the last restart time, not the last time it was turned off and back on. And then finally, Net Statistics Workstation. And then we could go back up here. So it's kind of rounded it up to 840, so 839, I think we had before. Yeah, 839. And then we also have one we could do from PowerShell. So once again, for PowerShell, just type in PowerShell. If I paste that in there. Gives you the, uh, you know, you kind of got to do some math here, how long it's been on for, 10 minutes, 20 seconds, so on. And there's another one here. This is a cleaner looking uh, command right here for it's just flat out get uptime, but you have to have a PowerShell 6 for that. Uh, Windows 10 comes with PowerShell 5, I believe, but like the server operating system should have 6, and you could use that on that. Okay, so like I said, those will tell you the last time it was restarted. So if you want to see um, either these next methods will apply for a restart, or if you do a cold turn on from scratch, for lack of a better term. So uh, we're gonna first one we're gonna do, we're gonna go to task manager. So you could right click on the task bar here, any blank spot, pick task manager. You could also do control alt delete and then click on task manager. And then once you're here, you want to go to the performance tab in the CPU section and see how the uptime says 11 minutes and 29 seconds. And if you were to do a turn off and then turn it back on, this would actually update the uh, uptime so it wouldn't this wouldn't apply to the last reboot it'll whatever either reboot or start up from scratch this will be accurate so and then another one we're going to use is from the uh, network adapter so if we go to network and internet settings and then we want network and sharing center and adapter settings and then you want to find the adapter you're using. So if you're using your wireless, click on that one. I'm using Ethernet connection, so I'm going to double click this. And this tells me that it's been going for 12 minutes. And it should be pretty close to this too. Yeah, 12 minutes. So like I said, these two GUI methods are probably your best bet because they'll give you the real uptime where the commands will give you the last restart time and not um, which are not going to be accurate if you if you start it up from a cold you know, from completely turned off. So yeah, so like I said, I'll, I'll put these uh, in the description, these commands, and you can just copy and paste them. And then, like I said, if you want the real accurate ones, just go for the uh, task manager or the network adapter settings and see how that works for you. Okay, hopefully that wasn't too confusing. But anyways, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Mm -hmm.